Good morning from Japan. Today's mission is to go where Fukushima nuclear disaster happened and hopefully give myself cancer if I haven't died already from a car accident because driving in Japan is so freaking complicated. They have like why can't they just speak English? They, look at these signs. Like I can't read any of that. This English wouldn't be that hard, would it? Alright, we are about 69 kilometers away from the reactor and so far everything looks very normal like there's a lot of small villages scattered here and there around life looks very normal I know it's happened like 10 years ago but apparently we're not yet in the danger zone here for example on my right there appears to be a very normal neighborhood Right, 42 kilometers in, nothing has changed. You can see the landscape, there are a few houses there. One way to know that we are actually inside the exclusion zone is one of these signs that you see right there. That is coming here, they measure how much radiation affect you per hour. And I don't think you can read the sign, but it says 0 0.4, which is I don't know how much it is. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that, but it says you're not allowed to be on a motorbike, which is what I said earlier, because of the radiations. Only four rear vehicles are allowed to be on this road. And we are now in a town called Nami, Nami. And then a few kilometers after, there's another town called Fatuba which is the last point before we get right to the reactor which I will not be able to do on my own at least not legally but the interesting thing is up until this point up until 15 kilometers away you'd still have normal houses there are shops temples everything they even have I haven't seen a 7-eleven yet which is a disappointment but life here seems to continue normally. We're now on the road to the last town, I think it's called Fatuba. And as you can see from the right and on the left, the soil here is still fertile and being used for agriculture. There is scarily weird building up front which I don't know what it is oh I think I know what this is for Please back up slower. shut up don't tell me what to do it appears to be and those bags I think that's the soil that they get from the ground here so what they're trying to do is they're trying to decontaminate everything that's around here and they take in the bad soil and they put it in those black bags but I don't know what the process after that is but I've seen many documentaries that show the process of them doing this so I'm sure that's what this is for very interesting but still no actual signs of any abandoned houses or anything and look that's my funny car. And there is the ocean. You see, there are all the boats. They're actually fishing. This water around here, it's safe. Yeah, safe. It's safe. No problem. No problem. Yeah. Okay. Well, there you go. Up until, like, right next to the reactor, there's still fishermen fishing. Apparently, people here are not. I mean, some are maybe still scared, but a lot of people are not scared anymore of being around this area. Okay, I found I found something very interesting to look at. So we have a vegetation field right here and then 
right there we have a sign of how much radiation there is in the area and it says 0.137 is that a lot or not a lot I don't know but like right next to it there are fields and they're growing vegetations again which is a common sight that you see everywhere in this area but I still haven't seen any abandoned houses which is what I actually came here for so now I have to find that and then we're going to see really interesting parts of this area well, it looks like a lot of these buildings are being demolished so a lot of that I read about online or I've seen the pictures of might not be available anymore it just all being torn down all right I decided to get out of the car and just gonna take a walk and explore just by walking so far I think these guys are doing too good of a job because a lot of the houses have already either been demolished or are being demolished right now hmm I mean this does seem kind of abandoned This definitely was here for a while. Oh my god. Look at the watch. It's definitely going in. And it. What is that noise? It seems like outside there is someone playing loud. Noises are like warning systems or something. Can you actually read the date? Oh my god, this is so interesting. It still says 2011, or when this disaster happened. And you can still see things are still hanging on the wall. Is there like a date on them? The reason why I got like a PlayStation 2. Oh wow. Well. They've got like an ego decoration thing. And here in the closet, let's see. Yes, they still have the old. The clothes are still there. Can you tell what they used to do for a living? From maybe the way they dress? Oh wow. I mean, I don't know if I'm supposed to be touching anything here because of radioactive stuff, but I don't know, you live once. You die also once, but... What do they listen to? Tokyo? Take it to love? So go Tokyo? I don't know any of this stuff. Well, this is iconic. It says, everything is gonna be alright. Uh, not always. I mean here, like the thing is you have the contrast between like a house like that, which would be abandoned and the things, like the houses right behind them, if you can see them, they're totally new. So if they're expecting people to go back and live basically there, I'm sure these houses are already decontaminated.
I mean, this one is a total mess right now. But I've seen a lot of footage of a lot of houses that are actually really good conditions even after the earthquake. You could still see everything intact. And these, this one, it doesn't look like it was like that from the earthquake. I'm just going to assume it is like that because some people came in and they literally just destroyed everything. But maybe we can find something else. Maybe we can find one house that is still intact. This is... You like my hat? Same. It's very good. Uh, from Vietnam. Colombia? Japan. 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 Okay. Vietnam. Oh, Vietnam. Yeah. yeah. Good. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> you see, I love how the Vietnamese man gets recognition even here in Japan. Man, I'm proud of my country or oh, my Viet Vietnamese origins. This one, I think this is a hospital and it seems to be one of the last few places here that are still kind of abandoned. I mean, that's the main entry, but you always know the main entry is always locked. So if you want to go in, you can go to from the front. I, I guess this used to be like a main entry door, but it's been overgrown, like everything has been grown here. Like that's the door and look how many bushes between here and there are already like the lamp Do you think the door would open? You can still see there are like the entire umbrellas There appears to be like a waiting area Everything inside here looks completely brand new. Does anyone need a bike? There appears to be a lot of them here. A ton of bikes. I mean, you think they'd be used or put in good use, but they're still left here rotting. And here is the back side. Oh my god, there's like so many new shoes. Unfortunately, all the doors here are just locked. Oh, there's an open door. And if there's an open door, that's like an invitation in, right? I mean, I'm now breaking in. They're inviting me to go inside. Otherwise, there would be no open door for me. So, it would be very impolite to not accept this invitation. Okay, it's gonna be very dark. There's like nothing inside. All the rooms are empty. Okay, this is... Oh, this is the door with the lamp that's been overgrown that we saw before we entered. Time to head out. Well, between the old and the new structures, there isn't a lot of interesting things to be fair. Uh, everything that has been or would have been interesting in this part has either been destroyed or is in the process of being destroyed. I'm gonna go for a last drive and I'm gonna see how close I can actually get this time to the reactor itself. Because I've seen on Google Maps there's a few spots that are marked on the map where they're marked as tourist destinations. So hopefully I'm assuming that I will be allowed to go as near as there. And from there, 
I would hopefully get a view of the reactor and maybe see different communities of people living there. One thing that I've actually missed a lot, which is seeing people. Like there's a lot of cars passing, a lot of trucks, and but I haven't seen a lot of people actually walking in the streets, doing normal activities. Hmm. I wonder what the white thing is gonna do, whether it's gonna help against the decontamination or not, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be very effective. Is that gonna protect you? I don't know. Wait, don't take any advice from me, I'm stupid, I don't know nothing. The direction I am heading is the reactor. The reactor is somewhere right there. So I'm just gonna pass like parallel to it and I'm gonna see if at any point of this road we can actually go to the left or head to the reactor and see how close I can get. There's, there was a lot of exits here on the highway but all the exits to the left or towards the reactor are closed. Okay, this is an exit to the left, which is not closed. So let's let's see what this leads us to. I see. Oh shit! Okay, do you see these buses? They're full of people. So oh, it says plant four. What? We're close. Okay, so I see a lot of. We we good check plant four now. I'm losing like what I'm thinking of, but. Yeah, you keep seeing these buses. So I'm assuming there's gonna be a tourist trap. Something that people come here visiting with buses because there was like a lot of buses now full of people. Damn, I got stopped now by the police. So apparently the road is blocked. And he told me I need to read to U-turn. Oh damn, he's writing like my license plate. Let's see what happens. Oh, they're blocking the road in front of me. Okay, they're gonna make me do a full on U turn here. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, he's looking at me and writing something down. And looking at his watch and just writing stuff down. And then, I don't know, is he like measuring how long I've been in this area? So behind me are already a lot of buses and cars. Ah, okay. I thought it would be the only one who's controlled. So apparently they stop at every car and yeah, you're only allowed in if you're allowed in. But I'm not. I don't know what's gonna come next. If I don't show you anything else, then thanks for watching. I hope this was kind of interesting to you. To see what happened in this area and how it's been rebuilt and I will see you next time.